Listen, marriage and divorce are choices. You marry who you want, and you have the right to divorce when you feel that you are not at peace in that marriage. People came to the Prophet ﷺ asking for a divorce. Women came and asking for a divorce and did not justify their rationale. And even when they did, the Prophet never said to any one of them, just be patient. Never once. Never once. The entire Qur'an, the exhaustive discourse on divorce. There are several pages dedicated to divorce in Baqarah. There's an entire surah dedicated to the divorce, Surah Al-Talaq, the 65th surah. And yet, Allah Azza wa Jal never once condemned it. Never once said, why, how dare you divorce? He said in one place, in Surah Al-Nisa, He said, uh, you know, and if you are going to divorce them, you know, maybe Asa an karihtum shay'an wa yaj'al Allahu fihi khayran kathira. Maybe you hate something, but Allah put a lot of good in it. Allah put a lot of good in it. But in the very next ayah, He says, wa in aradtum istibdala zawjim makana zawj wa ataytum ihda hunna qintaran. And if you still decide to replace a spouse with another, go on and marry somebody else, Allah opened that door. What I'm trying to tell you is not go out, go on and get divorced, or you don't have to have patience in your marriage. But understand something. If somebody decides that they don't want to be in a relationship because they find it emotionally or any other way abusive, and she even said these words, she said, it seems they can do anything they want and that's okay. And I said, what, until you have broken bones? She goes, yeah, until then, probably anything, everything else is okay. And even if I had broken bones, and some others have told me, even if I had broken bones, my parents would probably tell me, it's okay, it's just one bone. You know? And we don't understand sometimes that psychological torture, emotional torture, degradation and humiliation and abuse and neglect and dismissing somebody, these are serious things. And the, sometimes husbands do these to wives and sometimes wives do this to husbands. And when this happens, you have a right to say, I don't want to do this anymore. Let's go seek help. And if you don't want to get help, if you don't want to make changes, then I don't want to be in this abusive relationship anymore. It's okay to draw that line. You're not un-Islamic for wanting to get out of a, an abusive relationship. You're not. You did not do anything wrong. If you want to get out, that's your call. And you're not better, a better Muslim or a worse Muslim because you want to get out of an abusive relationship. You should seek therapy. You should seek help. You should do everything you can to save a relationship. But if a relationship has become a one-way street, then no. Then no. Then you don't, you're not compelled by Islam to stay. You are not. That is not... I don't, I've been trying to understand this religion for the last 20 years. I've been trying to study this book and understand it. I cannot find any justification that people should remain miserable for the sake of Allah. Nope. That is just not the case. So... You know, and, and by the way, to the parents who say this to their daughters, how dare you? How dare you pass down abuse? We were abused, so it's okay for you to be? This is the mercy you show your kids? We're supposed to never... You know, I can't imagine my, if, if my daughter came to me and said that. For me to say to her, it's okay. Yeah, I went through that. So it's okay. You can, you can handle it. I couldn't stand it. I can't stand sometimes how people in our in many of our cultures, Indian, Pakistani culture, I don't know enough about Arab culture to be able to say in our cultures, to be able to show our face to the community is more important. That's more important. And to show mercy to our children is less important. That's that to me is disgusting. That to me is disgusting. So may Allah Azza wa you know, and yes, it, it does take great strength and great power, but I also understand that. Nobody should be guilting you religiously that you're doing something religiously wrong when you want to get out of abuse, when you want to get out of a, a, you know, a miserable situation. If you're unhappy, if you're not satisfied, if you're not, you know, if you're not being taken care of, if you're falling into, like you're getting these evil thoughts in your head because of this abusive relationship, if you have like resentment towards your spouse for years and years, why are you in it? Yeah, this the purpose of marriage is لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا So you can find comfort and peace in them. If the peace isn't there, what are you doing there?